Government officials, including Cabinet Secretary Elud Owalo, visited their former schools Maseno and St. Mary's, where they inaugurated the ICT laboratories. <laughs> Owalo emphasized the government's commitment to equipping Kenyan youth with digital skills that are in demand in the job market and can open doors to technology-related opportunities globally. During the launch of Ajitume Digital Laboratory at St. Mary's School in Yala, Siaya County, Owalo spoke about the ministry's plan to provide computers, digital connectivity, and free training in digital skills to educational institutions. He expressed his satisfaction with the students' enthusiasm for ICT and encouraged schools to integrate it into their learning and work processes. Local leaders, including Game MP Elisha Odiambo and politician Frederick Oyugi, addressed the students and asked them to make the most of the computers, emphasizing that excelling in the field of ICT can lead to a promising future. Today we were here to launch the digital laboratory here and the purpose of this digital laboratory is to empower you by way of digital skills. ICT skills is imperative today in life in everything that you are going to do, you require ICT skills. And I'm just here as an emissary of His Excellency the President who has got a very, very, very high level of passion for technology. In the bottom-up economic plan, our policy framework for government, ICT is at the center of it. We are going to launch these digital laboratories in edu uh, educational institutions. We are also going to connect internet all over the country so that we have reliable, affordable, and stable internet. As the MP has told you, we are also going to set up uh, free Wi-Fi hotspots in market centers to empower our youth and our women who are involved in itinerary trade. We are doing all this because ICT is the single critical success factor for this country moving forward. The world is today one global digital economy and Kenya cannot be left behind. So I want you to take this uh, trading seriously because by way of those ICT skills, it may be your end result in life. The jobs that we have today, most of them are resident in the digital space. And they'll pay very, very, very well. They are already paying extremely well. I want to promise that some of the challenges that we have, we have been talked about, we will liaise with your work together with your member of parliament, but we will also liaise with other levels of government, starting with the Ministry of Education and the top echelons of government to see that in the not too distant future, you have that what you are calling a uh, high level what? A two level laboratory. laboratory. Yeah? That is my promise to you people that you'll have a laboratory. You'll have a, a laboratory here. Yes. The, the member of parliament has just told me that he's putting in seed capital from his constituency development fund. He's going to put in 2.5 million right. shillings for that, for that laboratory. Okay? I'll also see what I can do at my own my own level. Mimi si mwashimiwa lakini usini the house sana. I'll also see what to do. I'll, 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 we'll work with the Alicia and see what to do. But I can assure you that you'll have a laboratory. Lovely. A laboratory in the north to this transmitter. Within the next one month or so, uh, I'll come back here and also give a set of uniforms to the basketball team. Oh. Yeah? I was a basketball player here. In fact, I just forgot. I already bought the uniform. Yeah. I'll come here, give you the uniform, and I'll want to play a game of basketball with you down there, down in the field there. Okay? So I want to assure you that other things will fall in place. Now, when I was here as a student, the most important thing here in this school, one, was education. Number two was the church. This school has got very, very sentimental attachment to the Catholic faith. We used to go to church in the morning. We used to go to church in the evening. The third most important thing in this school, apart from classwork, was bread and tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> bread, bread and tea. So before I leave this place, I want to leave here. No, I want you guys to know that I still remember that bread and tea is important here. <laughs> so convey to the President Bona County Commissioner that we are grateful for nominating Elio for this position. Students, you know education is an equalizer. When I went to school, the teachers will tell you, I was taught that education was supposed to provide four things. It was supposed to provide a normative skill, it was to teach you how to interact with people, the norms. It was supposed to develop your mental capacity, the cognitive skill. It was supposed to create in you a level of creativity so that even if you leave school, you can do a job and earn some money. Creative skill. It was equally supposed to help you socialize in our society through the psychomotor skill, playing football, playing games, playing drama. Because this then makes education in you complete. I want to tell you, if you don't get any of the four things, then there's no reason to be in this school. Sai pale dunia inaelekea ni digital world. Kila kitu sai inafanywa kwa computer. Hata ile kampuni enye inatengeneza pesa kuliko kampuni zote duniani inaitwa Apple. Na yote ni mambo ya computer. So na, na nauliza watoto wa Kenya nchi nzima wakati wote mtaletewa hizi kompyuta na serikali muzitumie vizuri mmake sure mmejua kutumia hizi kompyuta musome kwa sababu hapa mbele mbele yetu siku zinakuja biashara kubwa itakuwa ni mambo ya kompyuta hii kompyuta ndio itakutoa itatupatia ajira na ndio itatoa kwa maskini kwa zibu wote tunajua sana sana kama huku upande wa Nyanza tumekuwa kwa maskini kwa muda mre, mrefu lakini saa hizi tukupigia William Salmoi Ruto kura lakini ameamua atapatiana kila kitu enye anapatiana kwa wale watu walimpigia kura atapatia wale wa kumpigia kura na tunampongeza sana aendelee hivyo na ikifika 2027 sisi kama wana UDA tutahakikisha ya kwamba William Samoi Ruto anapata kura za kutosha huku ndiye aendelee kutusaidia sisi for students to do well they must keep off alcohol and drug abuse and then work hard and leave the future in the hands of God and God is going to bless them.